What up guys, welcome to your 133rd Android tutorial for the new Boston. Well, we're just going to work with this touch event that we're getting from our overlay class. And some of the question, or one of the questions that you guys might be asking is, hey, can I just do something like map.setOnClickListener and then create a click method or set a touch method? Um, the problem is, again, like I told you guys in the last tutorial is, the map is already handling so much stuff that when we try to add like a click listener it's not gonna properly work so that's again why we want to use the overlay class to handle some of those events and I just pulled up briefly kind of the overlay uh, Java doc that kind of tells you the methods that we can use and uh, there's a draw method um, that we might get into on a key down on key up on tap um, and on touch event which is what we're going to be working with. We're still going to kind of reference the key down and key up, um, but in a different way uh, through the the event uh, motion event. So that's kind of what uh, what methods the overlay class has for now. Uh, there's a few different types of overlays which we'll get into, but uh, again we have this on touch method or on touch event method, and what we're going to do is we're going to set up um, some variables, and they're both going to be long. So we're going to say long starting point or just start and we're gonna set this actually let's set this up at the top um, yeah it looks like I already did um, so just create two new variables start and stop and uh, what that's gonna do is when we press down on our map which is actually our overlay that we're pressing down it's gonna create a start uh, starting point we're gonna get kind of the time when we hit the down button and when we release and we're that's gonna be our stop and then we're gonna minus those and I'll just get into it. I don't wanna you know sometimes that gets confusing when I try to explain things before we actually do them so uh, let's just get into it so again what we want in this touch what this touch event method is gonna give us is the motion event and the map view so let's reference the motion event when we say uh, the motion is pressed down so we're just gonna say if and then our event we called e dot get action is equal to the motion event dot action down. And again, this will be when we're pressing down on our overlay. And what we're going to do is we're going to get the starting point or the time uh, for the most part when that event happens. So what we're going to do is we're going to set our start equal to e dot get event time which is a new method that we haven't used yet that's probably the sole you know key key point of this tutorial is just getting the event time when an event happens so that's pretty uh you know that's a pretty good method even for like games and stuff like that if you want to judge the philosophy uh, velocity of you know how fast someone moves from one point to the next you can do it this way um, but again we're going to set up another if statement when they release so we're going to say e dot get fit get fit uh, get action equals motion event dot action <clears throat> action up uh, all right right there so now when we release we're gonna set up our ending point so we're just gonna say stop is equal to again our event when this event happens action up happens dot get uh, event time and lastly all we're gonna do is subtract this time from this time and if it's greater than you know like a second and a half then we're gonna we're gonna do some sort of a method um, which we're gonna create an alert dialog which we kinda talked about but we're gonna go into a little bit more depth in the next tutorial but so what we're gonna say is stop minus start as long as that's greater than um, one and a half seconds again it's in milliseconds here so this is one and a half seconds we're going to um, perform an action well I'm not even gonna leave a comment because it's getting late and I don't really it doesn't really matter but um, here's again this is all we're doing for this tutorial is we have our event which is an overlay uh, type because we extended overlay and we get the motion event and we're gonna get when they press down and when they press up and if that total time is greater than one and a half seconds we're gonna do something here 
Otherwise, it's going to return false that this this hasn't been handled for the most part. But uh, that's pretty much it for this tutorial again, guys. I'll catch you in the next one where we're going to get into alert, di uh, alert dialogue a little bit more in depth than we have. Because the last time I used it, I thought I explained it earlier, but I don't think I did. So um, I'll catch you guys in that tutorial, and have a good one.